the 48 day living enlightenment process at Biridhi Ashram literally got off to a flying start initiating participants into a powerful yogic technique for balancing samana one of the five major energies circulating in our body the samana is a particular air process which is responsible for the air to move all over your body uh, from this point to this point to this point the whole body we have 21 points 10 fingertips in the feet 10 fingertips in the hand and sagasrara in all this all 21 points the air being flooded this is called samana that process is called samana if that samana is balanced is proper whenever i give you this kind of one idea and ask you to sit with it the extraordinary powers will start expressing in your body like a feeling very light or feeling heavy feeling expanded or feeling shrunk these are the four called anima lahima mahima karima in the ashtama siddhis eight siddhis these are four all of you are clear what i am saying anima lahima mahima karima these are the four important powers first it will happen physical psychologically then it will become physical see you will feel little more than you are first physic psychologically then even physically it will start happening if you physically if you are levitated you have a healed samana if you are only psychological levitation you don't have any uh, wound in samana but if you have no neither psychological nor physical levitation happen means your samana needs to be balanced now needs to be healed i'll now put you through the simple process how the samana healing samana balancing happens but of course you will go through heavy process from tomorrow to balance samana permanently already a siddha an adept in the science of levitation nityananda released powerful anima energies into the air to help participants take the leap into levitation Anima is one of the Ashta Mahasiddhis eight mighty yogic powers known only to the siddhas and yogis of ancient India See actually what happens uh, what what is initiation when i say let that process you just sit with that process means that simple understanding of fish with that one simple understanding be there when i say that just through this kurma nadi kurma nadi is the nadi through which you release or receive this is a center nadi see how you when you check blood pressure this is the exact nadi on which you put the machine this is the exact nadi which runs through this middle finger this is the nadi through which you send or receive information so just through that whatever experience in my body is released so any body which which has samana balanced samana complete healed samana starts levitating catching it balanced samana psychological levitation happens A little imbalanced samana uh, just tries to catch it tries to catch it tries to catch that wave this what exactly happens now understand you are not expected you should not be waiting for levitation you should not be doing it you just be with the process i am saying let that happen by itself because levitation it is only one side effect there can be many other side effect of side effect when i say side effect you should understand the right way not as is described in allopathy not as it is is it is described in allopathy levitation is only one by product there will be so many by product there will be so many by product the body will expand so there are um, uh, things like lahima mahima karima anima different siddhis 
so with the samana balancing with this initiation any siddhi part will start happening in you any siddhi will start happening in you hmm? so just be empty space allowing this process to happen in you this initiation to happen in you that's all i wanted now all you need to do is balance your samana and leave this process in you do not expect which one should happen in you do you understand what i am saying do not expect only the levitation should happen in you hmm? because the levitation itself can happen with along with two three things you can feel heavier than what you are and levitation can happen all of you understand what i am saying it does not need to be only that you should become light and levitate no you can become heavy and levitate and same way it does not need to be just feeling smaller than what you are and not having the levitation you can have smaller than what you are and levitation or bigger than what you are and levitation two three things can match and mix mingle and move so all you need to do is just be open with samana balanced and available that's all so i am not now teaching you levitation please understand i am teaching you enlightenment as a by product this four can happen anima lahima mahima karima all four can happen hmm? so be open to it be with it let's see what happens you will suddenly see there is every possibility not only levitating the stability can become at least few seconds maybe 10 seconds or 20 seconds your body will be able to stay within moments of the initiation dozens of participants were leaping effortlessly into levitation while many others experienced states of expanded consciousness Today's process was one of over 200 techniques revealed to Nityananda during his 53 days of illegal imprisonment. Levitation happens as a result of the energy alchemy between master and disciple.
I am literally transmitting my bio memory to you, said Nityananda. However, Nityananda cautioned participants against getting caught in the achievement of levitation. Despite the caution, it was evident that participants thoroughly enjoyed their first flying experience. My name is Ron. I'm from Daytona Beach, Florida. And uh, recently I'm a yoga instructor and a massage therapist. It's a very delightful experience. Um, what happens with me when I start to meditate, I look within. And when you look within, Things usually are very chaotic at first and there's a lot of thoughts and there's a lot of ideas and you know, they go and come and through the techniques with uh, Swamiji, he's an expert. No matter what state of mind I'm in, no matter how chaotic or how busy my mind might be, he has many different techniques that has the effect on the mind that slows down the thinking process. Uh, and he's, he's shared many different techniques that it just blows my mind. Every day he introduces a new technique of meditation that uh, when you use his techniques and you go look inside with the, the thoughts, what happens is after a while with his techniques is that I start to see not only the thoughts, but I start to see these spaces in between and there's gaps and uh, um, all of a sudden uh, something like a black hole appears, seems like an empty space uh, and it's very beautiful. It's not only, it's very restful, it's very delightful, it's very enjoyable and when I experienced that space within the idea, he introduces this idea that if something wants to happen with your body, if you feel light, let anything happen. So with that in mind, with that idea, in that space, uh, in that uh, maybe no space, I could call it, because there's nothing there. When that idea gets introduced, I just feel like my body gets so light that it wants to fly. And that's what I call it, I call it flying. I literally feel like I can fly and I start to, my body gets so light, I come off the ground and uh, it might take uh, a few seconds, it might get a little longer and you start to basically, your body starts to uh, get light and start to lift off and you know and uh, it's a beautiful experience I really uh, have never had such a joy in that I've had in that space in my uh, experience I've, I've, I've gone into that space uh, the, like the second or third day that I was here uh, I went to bed and I laid down in bed and I just automatically seemed to like want to go back to that space. So I relaxed my body and I let myself go. And at that time, not only I felt the lightness and the lifting of my body while I was laying in bed. My name is Nagme. Uh, I live in Los Angeles. I'm a board certified chiropractor, spine doctor. Um, also, I have uh, certification, board certification on reflexologies of the hands and the ears and the feet and my original background from Iran was obstetrics delivering natural delivery um, simply Swamiji just he's sitting there and is watching us and few simple words he utters without no without us knowing any technique or any sutra 
um, any mantra, nothing, nothing. Just simply says the simple life uh, solutions. And then right there, this levitation happens. It's so automatic, so innocent, and so natural. My name is Debbie Chance, and I'm from North Carolina in the USA. And I'm a school administrator. And I have been a school administrator for many years, and I specialize in brain research. So I, at this point, I've become a consultant. So I travel across the country in different places and talk to school administrators and social workers and guidance counselors and teachers. It's been really unique with Swami because um, doing, having this experience of levitation is something that's very simple and easy. And when you have that thought that you can't do it, then you can't do it. So if we have conflict-free living, conflict-free life, then we're not creating our own resistance patterns and our, our brain patterns become liquid and soft, easy, so that when Swami drops that slight bit of energy into our brain thought pattern, we just immediately let go and we lift off the ground. It's just complete relaxation. It is such an intense rush of bliss that happens from the point of contact, your, your body's point of contact with the floor. It's such an intense, immense amount of bliss, happiness, joy, that you just want to go up. And it just pulls you up. So this is what I, this is what I have been experiencing. And the way it feels is an expansion, a very strong expansion, where there's space between your, your molecules in your body. You just feel light, like a cotton fiber, like a feather. And you see a feather that's just floating in the breeze. So there's this feeling of lightness. There's a feeling of unboundedness, so that there's no sense of any boundaries, and there are no thought forms. There's a huge amount of force that's coming up through your central part of your body, it feels like. Sometimes it's in other parts of your body. It doesn't have to be in the central. It can be anywhere. But you allow it. It's a matter of allowing. The key word really is allowing and not resisting. So living that energy and letting your body just experience pure bliss. It's a state of pure bliss. And what Swami does is he just drops that thought form into our minds that are completely relaxed and feeling that uh, emptiness and then the bliss stimulates that that surge of en energy that makes the levitation possible. Such a beautiful amazing um, pure uh, and simple um, feeling that you just want to be one become one with universe. It's, it's such an innocent uh, a way of uh, experiencing the existence and becoming, we are part of it, but we kind of know ourselves separate from existence. This is how we just become one with the whole cosmos, the whole energy. Just want to, you know, you feel so light that you just want to get up. Come up, <laughs> so easily. My name is Judy and I live in Maryland, USA. Swamiji just gave us a simple instruction, just simple words that he normally give in daily discourses. And um, he told us just to sit down and, on, and relax on a mattress. And then um, you just, I started feeling the end, some heat in the body and then something, the energy going up and up and then some parts of the body moving and I couldn't resist, I just moved up and down on the mattress and it was, I don't know how many inches because I had my eyes closed, but I did go on for quite, for, I think of more than 30 minutes. We were just going on and on and on. Almost, actually almost the entire time. I don't know how long he did it. I know he did it probably for an hour. Yeah, but, um, and then there's this blissful, uh, bliss that goes on inside you that you don't have control over it. It's like you had something very funny and um, this is just coming from the, the navel center and I just had, I laughed for a long time. I didn't laugh loudly but it was this laughter that kept going on and on and on and on and there is a lot of peace inside 
and I really felt like a little baby just resting there and Swamiji was there and um, at uh, one moment there's this connection between uh, the Swamiji's energy and my being um, so there's the boundary disappears somehow and then I just you feel so beautiful inside it's a it's something that I haven't experienced in the waking just walking around yes yeah, so that's a gift from the master my name is Bertina and I'm from Vancouver Canada and by trade I'm a physical education teacher the teacher of physical education and right now I'm taking care of my family I have two children and husband <laughs> And so I'm here uh, for the meditation program and I haven't seen, I haven't experienced something like that in my life. I've been meditating but the meditation is a simple regular meditation like I guess many many people just meditate but this kind of meditation I would never re never imagine that within just few days would put me into such a state literally levitating so it just took me by surprise and because of that it just just, just exhilarating laughter and joy and an absolute bliss just, just happened in this very moment. And just after even the meditation, I just couldn't stop laughing. But the laughter was such that was was coming from the being, literally. It wasn't just laughing because I saw something and something made me funny. And uh, something was funny that I saw. It was just simply not knowing why and just simply laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing basically i've never experienced such laughter in my life i guess levitation was a great experience but i think the the the, the state of mind that came with it was i guess the most precious experience um, that i had levitation um the most interesting thing about uh, levitation, because I have done levitation before with the uh, Maharish Mahesh Yogi TM uh, med translator meditation, the Swamiji's technique, they are so powerful because for me to be able to do the, it took one hour and 40 minutes. Then I had to do my levitation, you know, sutra. But this one, Swamiji tells you to sit down and say just a simple thing like this, and your body just starts levitating. It is, I mean, it's really moving. The first time I did it, just my tears came down because I knew it used to take me so long to be able to get that level for my body to become light and be able to, to levitate. My name is uh, Sri Ananda Sarva Sri. I'm from North Carolina. I work as a naturopath. And the experience of levitation is really, for me, quite an extraordinary experience. It's one of, energetically, it's really a powerful, powerful impulse, lightness that comes over you, basically takes over when it happens. I don't have a lot of control over it when it happens, but it, it is a real surge, a real energetic surge. At times I feel a real lightness, sometimes a, a whirling kind of experience happens um, as I'm doing it. Sometimes I feel lighter than other times. Sometimes I lift off completely, sometimes I don't quite lift off completely, but you really want to because the psychological experience is one of just tremendous, tremendous buoyancy and lightness and uh, powerful bliss, powerful joy kind of experience. Um, when I was walking back to the, um, to the room today after one of the experiences, I felt my whole body just as a, a ball of light and it sort of gave me the feeling like, oh, I'm nothing but light. It should be easy for me to just levitate. But at times you don't feel that during the, the processes. Different processes that we're doing uh, create different effects in me. Sometimes I feel a real lightness and, and a levitation and I lift off. Other times I feel a transformation, but I don't feel any lightness. So it just kind of depends on the process that we're going through and experience varies quite a lot. It's going to be fun to see what Nithi Ananda comes up with next for the next stages of the process. But uh, so far it's been a really amazing experience and a lot of fun and a really powerful transformative kind of experience internally, physiologically. So that's pretty much what it's like. It just felt like 
he keeps saying, remember you are me, and uh, I'll, you know, just merge with me, merge with me. And so I start seeing him, I start seeing him looking at me, and I keep see him facing him and looking at him. And suddenly, I just felt I was on his lap, and he was big, like, like he was my dad, and I was like five years old again. And then that movement starts swinging, and we're just going like this, and I'm like, oh my God. And then, the, and suddenly like the whole body lift. And I went like, Tum! So I think I did about that, that width, that height. And I know I was a bit high, because uh, for the size of the body to move. And the length of the, the mat is about over five, five, ten or something. So I did three laps like this. Not constantly, but one after the other one. It stopped and then the energy moved again. But that energy where it is, it feels like it's a rush and it moved and it just built and built and suddenly like it just like pops up and then you, you're up in the air and you're just like, ah! But I was like, I was like, wow! And I'm like, do it again, do it again, Sammy, do it again! It was like a kid, like, you know, like when you play with them and they're just so excited, that's how I felt. I was like, do it again, do it again! And then suddenly that energy comes back and then you jump and the body lifts again. And it, it reminds me when you're young and you swing on that, on that swing and suddenly like you go the highest you can go and then you just let go. And that freedom of height and just it's, it's incredible, it's so amazing. And it's just like, wow. And the, the, the body is in ecstasy, the mind doesn't know what's happening and the soul is just like in bliss. It's just it's beautiful. I'm Siva Prasad. I am from Hyderabad, India. I am a psychiatrist and a psychotherapist by profession. The first two sessions the Swamiji was conducting, I was not having any physical levitation. When I was listening to all the other people who were levitating, I was really thinking, it can't happen to me, maybe it is for them. But, and then during the Soham meditation, actually my body was being lifted off the ground. I didn't feel like, oh, is it mine? And then it happened second time, third time. Then I felt like, yeah, it's me, it's my body that is levitating. It was really wonderful and it's an ecstatic experience for me. And after that, peals of laughter came. And then after the session, the peals of laughter came. I was laughing for 15 minutes after the session. It's a wonderful experience for me. I can't ever forget ex this experience. My name is Srinivas and I have come from Hyderabad and uh, I work for the IT industry. Okay. During this LEP process, what I experienced is the physical changes that happened in my body that I'm very much sure. Experience of levitation happened on the day four or five I can say. So I started again, body started having a weightlessness and then I saw something like it was gushing up, the energy was gushing up from inside from the, from the bottom of the uh, body. Maybe some mola that other. So it started coming gushing up. Then I started, I, as I was sitting in the Padma, uh, Padmasana posture and there, so it happened like I said, I, even I, I want to control or something like that, it is completely out of my control and it started uh, pushing up. My name is Narendra Sindhi and I'm from Vancouver, Canada and I work uh, in the spa industry as an aesthetician and a spa therapist. I met Swamiji in 2006 and uh, started doing his programs in 2007 and I had done various programs. Uh, first, first day I didn't, I just had the physical uh, or psychological levitation, no physical. Uh, second day the body was moving <laughs> and third day I was levitating for sure. So that was a beautiful experience to levitate. Uh, I never thought I could do such a thing and be in a blissful state while levitating, that's amazing. <laughs> So I can say, and when Swamiji says, when you are levitating, that means that Samana has balanced. Um, so, and then he is putting that, bolting that uh, enlightenment, you know, techniques into our body. So we are able to hold those processes. So, and then now we're doing prana techniques. So that is also very good, <laughs> all I can say, it's working. So the levitation, when it actually happens in the physical body, um, you are actually in a bliss. You are sitting in the Padmasana uh, with this Samana Mudra and it just happens of its own accord. And you are just, it's like uh, some beautiful energy is lifting you and just throwing you, like, you know, rocking you in the air. <laughs> it's not, it's not a, any, like, you're not hurting your body or anything like that. It's like some energy is like throwing like a baby in the air and putting it down. So it's a beautiful feeling.
That's what I can say about levitation. Something worth experiencing. I'm really very happy. Morning, the whole process was such a wonderful success. It shows one, many of you have done inner awakening and LB that has done the big job. Second, that even the other few were seekers from the beginning. So, now I will work on the deeper level. I can say the next level. Please understand, I am just balancing Samana. See, morning itself, whoever was able to experience the levitation, their Samana was balanced. That is why, the moment I released something from my system, it has started happening in their system. Let me tell you the exact signs. Please understand. See, the other day I was seeing a hologram. Uh, maybe it's a, uh, some 2 inch by 2 inch size. On the pyramid, one dolphin is jumping. That is a hologram. So if you cut smaller, 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 whatever size of piece you make it out of it, the full hologram is there as it is. Can you understand what I am saying? See, 2 inch by 2 inch, if you cut as a 4 piece, the full hologram is there. If you cut as 8 piece, the full hologram is there. If you cut as 100 piece, the full hologram is there. Just like that, master's body is cosmos. The macrocosm in microcosm, in its full form, is master's body. That is why the initiation is possible. Anything happens in this system, just one line, anything released in this system, can just happen in the other systems. Just happen in the other systems. One understand? The master's body is like a smallest possible hologram of the cosmos. Even then, even if you cut it as the smallest possible, the whole is there as it is. That is why Krishna in that small body, in that small mouth, able to show the whole cosmos to Yasoda. He just opened the mouth and Yasoda saw the whole cosmos. That is why just in that small six feet frame, Krishna was able to show the whole cosmos to Arjuna. Vishwarupa is the initiation. Initiation. Crazy and amazing and I feel so blessed and Swamiji is the best, that's best God I have to say and people could believe me or not but he is God that I've ever experienced and I want the whole world to experience him because his whole mission is love, peace and compassion no matter what anybody thinks who could go against that. So, I would give my life for him, absolutely. My name is Vanessa, and um, I live in Miami, and uh, I'm originally from Venezuela. It's more than the technique, it's in honestly, is the experience and how open we are to receive the bio-memory of this incarnation that is Swamiji. And little by little we get taste, we can taste a little bit what, what it really is. You know, to be an incarnation, and and it's beautiful. I'm just, it, I'm just so happy to have this experience, and it's a blessing and such a beautiful opportunity to receive this beautiful energy and be guided by an avatar. It's, it's a blessing. Understand, master's body is the smallest bit of the cosmos. That is why when he releases something, it happens in you. But there are many bodies, I can say many bodies was not prepared with Samana. Those bodies were only not able to, I, I saw, I, many of the ashramites came and reported to me. So much physiologically my body elevated, elevated or I don't know, but psychologically I saw already that I am feeling, I was lifted, so light. Even for you guys I can say the Samana was not damaged Samana. So with the Samana balancing, I, I was kind of a tough nut to crack. But uh, at the end of uh, Samana balancing, I, I did feel some lightness and I was kind of being pulled 
you know, away from the earth, but I, I was not levitating. I saw a lot of other people levitating and, and I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but uh, the prana balancing was much more intense for me because uh, there a lot of shifting happening, you know, a lot of things in the body changing and, you know, a lot of emotions coming up, a lot of joy coming up. So I think the, the prana balancing for me was was a more joyful experience than the Samana balancing. So in the Samana process, this really nice thing happened to me that I start feeling myself, I don't know if I'm right to explain it, but I start feeling like all my body very lightly. I feel like all the bits of my body becoming different, becoming like with no weight. I didn't know uh, going the levitation like the partners, like all the people did, but I feel it. It was really inside to me. I feel like that, like a baboon. I don't know, a balloon. I feel it like floating for a little bit. I don't know if it was inside myself. It wasn't my real body, but it was an amazing, very beautiful, very amazing feeling. Samana balancing, it's been a really deep process. I can feel the bio memory shifting, changing. Uh, I can see how the engrams are, uh, you get realization, so you turn them into thoughts, and then they're like, they're gone. Understanding feeling and then we go out into the world and we experience. So we take all these beautiful qualities and then we live it in our reality. During the Samana process, um, I, at times I felt a psychological lift. My body, I would feel it physically as well, my body would just want to rock backward. I felt lighter and I felt like my energy expanded um, out of my body. <laughs> Um, so it was a very, and at times it would feel, you know, very blissful. Um, so it's a very nice experience, the Samana balancing. During the Samana meditation, I felt uh, like a psychological lift up. Uh, suddenly, um, in, my, in my head, everything illuminated, it got very light, and it was as if I was flying inside of me. It was like a flying experience. And even my body lifted, not that it lifted from the, from the floor, but inside of myself I lifted and everything seemed to be so much easier, just sort of to sit straight up and my arms felt much lighter as well. So I had a beautiful experience and I couldn't believe that after I was told that we had been in meditation for two hours, uh, I could not believe it because it had been happening so, just like flying. Some morning, at least 10 people had a full levitation. Means, if it is more than 3 feet height and 6 feet long, means your body's length and uh, height and breadth, sorry, uh, the height and side size. Side size is maximum 3 feet. Length is, for some people, a little more than 3. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I am saying, the height is 6. So, if it is 3 by 6, it is called full levitation. Means the samana and initiation has met each other. Mixed inside you. At least 10 people I could see had a full levitation. And there are at least 25 people had levitation experience. Like a half feet, one feet, one and a half feet. I am Ashok Amin uh, from Los Angeles, California. I am a physician, practicing gastroenterologist uh, in Anaheim, California. Like three, four days ago, uh, when uh, Swami was conducting the meditation session, I think it was uh, Antar uh, Kumbak, and during that time uh, he said, uh, hold, 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 and then suddenly I started the burst of energy coming from the back and the sides of the back and pushing me up like a, in a jerky movement it was uh, like one feet high and uh, before that uh, I felt like uh, 
like aeroplane when they start be uh, before the take off how they gather the energy and then suddenly takes off the same feeling i got uh, just like uh, flying and it was amazing great experience uh, and a lot of gratitude to the master because it's because of him it happened i didn't do anything it's automatic spontaneous it's not possible for you to do it by will i could see see they are sitting in padmasana and hand is not touching the ground they are just there and just the body is flying you can't do it with will if you do it with will your back will break <laughs> you understand and i could see these guys simply just that uh, you see i can very clearly see when you put an idea into your system it takes 2 and 1/2 second to reach ananda ganda so when the moment it reaches ananda ganda just the body jumps i i know what i can honestly what i can share is the feeling that it really was here mostly the feeling here between my heart chakra and the ananda ganda chakra and losing the boundaries of my body like losing just becoming expanding that's what i felt in my levitation process and it's been interesting because when i least expect it it just happens and when i come back i realized i'm like oh <laughs> i was levitating and uh, i really don't know the knowledge i was just following the instructions according to paramahamsa nityananda um the energy called samana needs to be balanced so we did few meditation sessions to balance and just then simply happened to me and again i to be honest i really don't know how it happened it just happened <laughs> um you uh i what i feel is um the body start first of all the my the feeling i i normally have most of the time is my heart start pumping fast and i'm just sitting still then all of a sudden there is this rush of a uh, something feeling good in the whole body and wanting to take your body up and there is nothing you can do it's like the body just goes up just like that it's a feeling which is so good it's not just levitation it just uh, you know i don't know what you call bliss or just nectar something which is flowing all over the body and makes you just want to like you want to get wherever it is and that's how the body goes up such a great experience and a great feeling just sitting cross leg and just suddenly just jumping and lifting up and and then finding myself in different place so <laughs> just planting myself in different place so it's it's really something that um yeah it's a very physical it's actually very very physical it's a very physical experience but yet again it's not something that i i did it i put a intention into it and then it happened it just happened on its own without my complete knowing i was just sitting in the padmasana in samana mudra and i was just being connected to the master maybe having the full faith on him i was connected to his subtle energy and i was being lifted off it was an effortless experience i was not putting any effort at all because i was thinking oh it can't happen to me so but it happened so hmm? i could see few people having that uh, lahima experience not only just light it just expanding hmm? and this anima mahima lahima karima all these four siddhis are intertwined when you balance first psychologically it happen then physiologically it happen so the same way feeling shrunk means smaller than what you are hmm? see feeling lighter than what you are feeling heavier than what you are feeling bigger than what you are feeling smaller than what you are so these are the four siddhis it's not even feeling becoming because from psychology it will be transmitted to physiology itself that is what has now happened to people who physically levitated you understand see it is not i can say 60 to 70 percent of people had psychological but maybe 20 to 30 people had physical you're sitting on a uh, kind of a padded mat and you're internalizing a uh, spiritual truth they they call it a sutra 
and it, uh, it has an effect on your system. And when you do this in a focused way, it can really change your uh, mental setup, your inner space. That's all, that's all what it's about, right? Because that, that's so much is your, your mental space. So um, you're just in constant remembrance of this thing, which was uh, life is... Um, Yeah, life is con life is conflict free, and uh, conflict has no life. So, just internalizing those words, that truth, and feeling it, not just repeating it, it'll it kind of it starts to make changes and it shakes your system, and you actually physically uh, will react to it. So, a lot of people like I started like sh you shake, um, and you kind of you you'll want to like lift off the ground almost and I didn't have the full experience of you know lifting off but uh, it kind of started to I kind of started to like jump off of where I was sitting and this is a it's not a voluntary action you definitely feel that this is something your body's doing basically without you um, but at the same time you do have control over it it's not involuntary um, in the sense that if you wanted to you could stop it um, yeah, and you just, uh, you have this feeling of, creates a lot of heat too, and um, just like a wanting to lift off. Hi, my name is Sue Davey, and I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and there I read tarot cards professionally. It's actually the third day Swamiji has had us doing process for levitation, and the first day, I didn't really have any expectations. I thought it would just be sitting there in pain because usually when the legs are crossed, there's a lot of pain there. But partway through the meditation, after just a few minutes, I found myself pulling the legs into Padmasana, the lotus posture, which I'd never done before for a sustained period. And I actually couldn't feel them until he said, relax. And apparently we had sat like that for an hour and a half. So there was no levitation that day, but it was still a very intense process. Uh, the next day I noticed tremors and, you know, my knees kind of shaking, my hands kind of moving on their own. And then today when he had us do the same process, I actually bounced up and down off the ground a few times. At one point I actually bounced so hard that my mala flew right off of me. So, <laughs> it was just incredible. But not so much the levitation as the deep feeling of bliss while doing the levitation. It was great. Hey, Vinaja Ananda and I'm from Sparta, New Jersey, and I'm a teacher. And I had the most incredible experience today and yesterday, actually. I felt like I was a bird flying. First, I went up, my arms went up, and then I was like gliding, and then my wingspan went like this, and my legs went in the air, <laughs> and it was truly the most unbelievable liberating experience ever ever and i still can't even believe it right now just even explaining it and it went on constantly and what first happened is i bent all the way down i didn't even know what i was doing i was contracting like into nothing and i realized it was almost like a takeoff <laughs> And then all of a sudden I came up and started flying and off the mat and everywhere. It was crazy. You are not asked to levitate yet. You are asked to balance your samana for enlightenment. So as a byproduct, you becoming heavy or you levitating or your muscle expanding. These all will happen as byproduct. Now don't bother about that. What is byproduct? As I told you yesterday, I am not interested in giving you the technique to make more wealth, like a creative visualization and all that. See, our devotees become creative and make wealth is side effect. But that's not my purpose. And same way, I am not interested in giving you like a life solution, anger management, lust management, fear management. And this has happens as a side effect of what I do. But that is not the main product. Same way, I am not even interested in making you moral. Morality happens as a side effect. You may not drink. You may not eat non -veg. You may not go around. You may not do drugs. These are side effect or byproduct of what I am doing. But that itself is not the main product. My main product is breakthrough in your consciousness. 
honestly, I wasn't expecting to be levitating. Um, and uh, it's, it's been a wonderful, amazing experience because I've, I can feel the powerful effects within me already. Um, I've never done levitation before or even aimed for levitation before. It has never been something I aimed for. And um, having that as a byproduct of this process has been amazing. So Rami puts uh, one hour, I think, experience during her two, two hour meditation. And second hour, uh, when you cool down, you feel like a lot of bliss. Uh, and then it takes you into the med deep meditation. Then I see the light and just takes you above, like as Swami said, levitation is used uh, to get the enlightenment. Don't get satisfied with only levitation. And I'm getting the experience of enlightenment. Uh, and the great bliss and light, amazing. See, one more thing I want to tell you about the Samana. See, exactly what happens during levitation, I will tell you. Under the each hair hole, pore, there is a small, subtle air bag. Space where air can be filled air energy can be filled but unfortunately that air energy cannot be taken through the nose through the nose what it goes is prana to grass see it's a two grass breathing that cannot go and fill that subtle air bags which is under the each hair pore or hair hole so that each air hole, hair hole should inhale, suck air energy from the uh, cosmos, from the ether. When that small subtle hair hole takes the energy from cosmos and stores it, that is called samana. That air energy is only samana. The air which you take through nose, the prana, very subtle part of it can go and fill as samana. But very subtle and it takes a lot of time. Actually, what is the difference between the prana, samana, vyana, and all? No. The prana, air energy which goes, is more percentage of thoughts and less percentage of life energy. Samana is almost like an equal percentage of thoughts and equal percentage of life energy. Vyana is 25 percentage of thoughts and 75 percent of life energy. Udana is 100 percent life energy. Udana is responsible for holding the heart and intestines separate. That is why when this area relaxes, all the nine hole will, holes will release, excrete and death will happen immediately. Death will happen immediately. Medically, how you need to understand, understand. This is what is death as described by Hatha Yoga. Hatha Yoga, this is the death. The energy which is holding heart up. That's a pure life energy. That's why Udana. Now, when the air energy gets filled in the air bags which is under every hair hole you feel light blissful happy joyful same way equivalent to your body weight if the air energy is filled in that air bags if the your body weight and samana energy becomes equal then the lifting of the body happens. That is the science of levitation. Understand? That is the science of levitation. For example, let me tell you, see, if you sit and inhale, just during the inhaling, have a button, counter, how many number of thought comes, just click, 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 press it, during one inhaling, if it is 15 count, 
make it as 30 because each time pressing is one more thought so 30 so take take the time of the inhaling and the number of thoughts come up with a proportion this proportion is your prana proportion if this number of thoughts is getting reduced then samana will increase levitation will start happen all of you are able to catch what i am saying we can even scientifically measure and prove the length of time and the number of thought when it is i can say if number of thought is more than 50 percent that component is more it is prana you can find out how to standard fix a standard if we do 10 times the same same experiment on you we will have the standard proportion of your prana then that proportion if it gets changed if the life energy is more and number of thought is less your air bags under the each hair hole is getting filled if that filling is happening step by step step by step then first comes physical psychological levitation when it is really more than 70 percent of your body air bags are filled with samana then happens physical levitation if 50 percent of your body air bags are filled with samana psychological levitation happens if more than 70 percent of your air bags are filled with samana physical levitation happens this is the science if 100 percent your air bags are filled with samana on the sky you will be able to turn turn the direction land smoothly or flow for a few seconds it's almost like a flight you will be able to control you can become pilot of your body this is the science of levitation now we can do some experiments on the length of breathing and the number of thoughts happening it is not then you are forcing your breathing just observe sit in a relaxed way and have a small counter in the hand observe and you will see tuck, 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 10 frames will change you will not complete the thought but thought will happen thought does not need to be completed thought understand thought gets completed when attachment is added when you don't add, add attachment it just happens and disappear happens and disappear and happens and disappear it does not get completed so the number of frames happening count that's all science of levitation he's nithin is doing an incredible thing with us you know it's i feel like really he's he's doing the whole job i'm doing my little part and he's doing the big part you know so he's really helping us i've never been in a situation to have such an amazing being want to help us so much i feel such tremendous intensity of compassion coming from him and just a willingness to help willing to share willingness to show us oh do this a little bit different do this a little bit different like he did today when he was sharing oh the breathing oh but do it with love you know that was like a, a total wake-up call for me and just opened me up in a totally different way and he's always giving us giving us these little clicks that just shift us in a different way and and keep us from uh, being so rigid about who we are and just opening up to that enlightened state more and more so it's just been a wonderful incredible process here um, i wish everybody could experience it because it's just extraordinary you know i could see so many masters here their energy they're all so happy that their tradition and what they gave to the planet Earth is getting revived and kept alive. So, how do you 
fine. Just you sit and do something touching your head and shoulder and think you are uh, some fish happening and you are jumping. <laughs> and so many things are happening. Means that energy which they gave to planet Earth as initiation is getting released. So they are also happy. They are also happy and all their presence is here. So, enjoy. Their blessings are all with you guys. Encourage all of us doing this great work of enlightening you. You see, one more thing when you are working towards enlightenment, that is a great service you are doing to the cosmos. Lot of collective negativity will be healed. As I said, when you start looking at somebody with love, that person is beloved. When you start looking with reverence, is the inspiration source. So when you start looking with the devotion, he is God. So you are way of looking, when that changes, you create. Same way the world. When you look with the ordinary way, it's a world headed enemies. With love, it's a place of peace. With reverence, it's a hand. With the devotion, it is God. It's too many people seeing the world as God will make the world as God. The soul is raising the collective consciousness. See, that is what I am saying. Expanding the collective consciousness, raising the collective consciousness. Making God, making the world as God. So, your very process makes it happen. As I said, that uh, participate in universe. How you participate? Universe is created that way. Hmm? So we are raising the collective consciousness of the universe through this process of participating universe. Drishti Srishti. Drishti means seeing. Srishti means creation. By seeing, create. So every time I elevate your consciousness to a higher and higher plane, you are seeing the world in a higher and higher way. So the more higher and higher way you see, more higher and higher conscious uh, cosmos is created. So you are doing the right thing in the right time with the right person. You are doing the best thing can be done, should be done with the human body. To the world with in best time and with best person. When the, I had a first time experience, uh, you feel like on the top of the world, you like the king of the world. Basically, it's like a celebration. It was a great, amazing experience. And everybody should come and take advantage of it. And all gratitude towards Swami again and again. It's never possible without Him. And very rare master in the world can do it. So it's very rare, rare, rare thing. I was with many enlightened masters before, but Paramahamsa Nityananda is at a def definitely at a higher level than any of them I have seen before. His energy is boundless energy and it, you can easily get connected to him. Sarang 